Hello, so this uh, short video is on accuracy and precision. Uh, this is uh, needed to help you answer one of the questions in your lab one. So accuracy, um, by definition, it's how close a measurement or the averages of multiple measurements comes to a, the true or the accepted value. So let's say uh, you know um, you should get a certain value for, for, uh, you know, when you measure something. And so if you're able to get uh, a measurement very close to that uh, true value, accepted value, then you know you are accurate. Precision is how close a series of measurements of the same value are to each other. So that's uh, in case you uh, repeat a measurement of the same thing and you always come very close to the same value, then that means you're precise. You're able to repeat uh, your measurement with precision. Um, instrumental precision refers to the size of increments on a measuring device. So um, it's, it's um, when you have a measuring instrument with a lot of lines, a lot of uh, divisions, then you're able to give more significant figures to your measurement, and that means it will be more precise. The more uh, digits, uh, the more precise it is. And for this, you need uh, as many lines as possible or sublines, subdivisions in your uh, measuring instrument. Um, so let's practice uh, understanding accuracy and precision. Um, I have these targets here, and um, the value you want to get is the bullseye in the center, right? So let's start with the upper uh, left, um, upper left target. And you have some shots there, you see the black uh, cross. These are the shots. So um, I'm gonna ask you, is precision poor or good in this uh, first target to the left? So you can answer. Poor, yeah, right. Precision is poor because uh, those t shots are quite spread uh, from each other, right? So that's how you can tell that this, this is poor. Accuracy, what do you think of accuracy in this case? Yeah, accuracy is poor again because uh, if the target is the bullseye, it's if it's the center it is, uh, what you want to uh, aim for, then uh, if you make an average of those four shots, uh, they are really more to the left. They are not uh, uh, that close to the target. So accuracy is poor here. So let's move down um, to the left, the bottom left uh, target. Uh, so what do you think of uh, precision in this one? Yeah, so precision is good, uh, yes, uh, because you see that this, the four shots are clustered together. Uh, so that means you're able to repeat and always land uh, within the same area. So that means it's good precision. Uh, what about accuracy now? Yeah, accuracy is poor indeed. Um, it, so if you look at the cluster of shots here, it, it, if you look at the average, it's like in the middle of those four shots, it's far from the bullseye, right? So if the bullseye is the, the, um, the goal you, you're trying to get, then you're far from it. So accuracy is poor there. Uh, let's look at the target in the upper right corner. Uh, we have uh, four shots again. What about precision for these four shots? So poor, uh, precision is poor, yes. Um, let me go back here. Uh, indeed, um, those are quite far apart from each other. Um, so it's lacking precision. What about accuracy now for this one? Uh, 
So remember, accuracy is when you're uh, you. So when you have several measurements, if you take the average, the average should be close to the target value, the bullseye. And so here, uh, it it is actually good because it's um, if you take the average, it's within the first circle in the center. So um, precision uh, accuracy is not uh, that bad. Um, because the average of those four shots, they, they are uh, fairly close to the center. So let's move to the bottom uh, right uh, target. Uh, what do you think of precision? Yes, precision is pretty good. Those uh, four shots are, are um, uh, clustered together. And then accuracy. Yes, uh, accuracy is also good. That's really uh, the best case scenario, right? When uh, all your shots are clustered together and they're clustered around the target value, the center of, of the target here. 